hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i am doing a feel on this set that i just did about two weeks ago i don't know if you guys remember it but i used forms instead of tips so if you want to go watch that video i'll be sure to leave the link down below so you guys can go check it out but of course the first thing that i'm doing is just going in with my extra cores safety drill bit to just remove the top coat and just fall down the acrylic a little bit and then also also, during this step, if you get any little lifting around that cuticle area, you can go in there with the same drill bed and remove it. Now, if your nails are lifted a lot, I would recommend you go ahead and just remove the nail and replace it because once that acrylic lift a lot and you try to like, you know, just fill it in most likely the nail is going to lift again and then you could possibly get a greenie and we don't want that um so up next i'm going in with a cuticle pusher and just pushing back those cuticles to expose the new growth and then also whenever i was following the nail a bit ago with the extra coarse drill bit i was using my e-file at 15,000 rpms this time right here i am using it at 6,000 rpms i'm using the 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail and i'm just falling all around the cuticle area you want to make sure that you get as close as you can to that cuticle just because this is where a lot of your lifting will come from if you do not prep the nail correctly also once you've prepped the nail and removed the shine and applied the primer and all that good stuff be sure not to touch the natural nail at all because you know like you can get some of your oils from your hand on the nail and you could get lifting so make sure that you don't touch the nails and that your clients don't touch the nails either at all but i'm just going in with this nude acrylic just going in and just filling the nail around the cuticle area first so just placing the first bead there and then just adding more acrylic wherever it's needed now of course these nails are short so i don't need you know too much product so for the most part i'm going to go in with one bead placing it closer to the cuticle area patting it down brushing it down towards the tip to blend it in and then just cleaning around the cuticle area and like i said just going in and adding acrylic wherever else you need it so really nice and simple for my acrylic brush i am using the number 12 alpha brush i'll be sure to leave the link down below and for my acrylic i am using my jcb to concepts acrylic system which i absolutely love and i'll leave that information down below as well but as you guys can see for the feel really nice and simple like i said you know since we're just filling them in we're just going in with a small or medium sized bead around the cuticle area and then just blending it in with what's already there I also had a nail repair, so I'm going in with the form. I followed the acrylic down um, a little bit as or as much as I could. And then I'm just going in with a bead, placing it at the tip, patting it down, and then just shaping it up by using the side of my brush. Um, so I just pushed the acrylic up on the sides and on the tip, blended it in with what we already have there and just making sure we have a nice little shape. And then after that, we go in and fill in the back of the nail, blending it in with the new acrylic that we just applied, making sure we have a nice little apex and thickness at the tip. And that's pretty much it. So really nice and simple. I didn't have to remove all of the acrylic that was on the nail. Like I said, I just followed it down and then just going in and fixing it by using a nail form so usually like i know there's people out there that they're always like why don't you use forms or why do you use tips and honestly like i learned to do nails with tips so that's kind of just what i stuck with there's people out there that learn how to do nails with you know forms and they kind of just stuck to that but whatever you feel more comfortable doing is completely fine whether it's tips or nail forms but after we finish doing that 
I'm just going in with my 80 80 hand file and of course since they're already that square shape I'm just going in to redefine the shape so just following the sides and the fridge at exactly a 90 degree angle to get that perfect squared shape make sure that when you're shaping the free edge that you're holding your file super super straight that way you don't have to worry about your nail being crooked or like the corners being around it like you're literally going to get that perfect squared shape so after i finish reshaping the nails i'm gonna go in with the e-file again but this time i'll be using the fine drill bit so if you guys can remember at the beginning of the video to remove the um gel polish or to file down the acrylic i use the extra coarse safety drill bit to remove the shine from the natural nail i use the 180 sanding bin which is the only drill bit that you should be using on a client is that sanding bin because anything else is going to damage your client's nail and then to file the acrylic i am going to be using my extra fine drill bit so those are really the only three drill bits that i ever use Alrighty, so after we finish shaping up the nails, I'm going in, like I said, with the Sparkle Nail Drill by Melody Susie. And I'm just going to go in and foul around the cuticle area first, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way you know that the acrylic is not on the skin. And then, of course, just following the rest of the nail. Now, whenever I apply my acrylic, I'm you know able to apply my acrylic on there nice and smooth so i don't have to worry about like bumps and lumps but sometimes you know it just happens so if you have bumps and lumps just go in and just follow the rest of the nail to make sure that everything is nice and smooth make sure that as you're doing that you're steady looking at your nail from the side that way you know exactly where you need to file instead of you just filing all over the place but like i said you do want to make sure that you spend extra time around that cuticle area to make sure that it's all nice and sealed and that you don't get any lifting but even if you do get lifting y'all like that is literally a part of learning trust me when i first started i was getting lifting i got discouraged i wanted to give up but you know this is something that i really really enjoy doing so i had no choice but to pick my brush back up and you know make something work so it's going to be frustrating it's going to take some time this is not something that you're just going to be able to do one time and you're going to be perfect at it like it's literally a learning process so just be patient and with practice you literally get better like once you practice y'all like there's no like there's not any like going backwards like you can only get better so just look at it that way and you know just be patient
Alrighty, so after I finish filing the nails, I'm going in with my buffer and this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those nails really, really good. And then also sometimes after buffing the nails, it may kind of round the corners off just a little bit. And so all you can do is just go in there with your hand file again and like literally y'all all it takes is like two strokes and you get your perfect shape again. So you know if you need to do that that is completely fine. I know that you know shape your shaping is super super important it literally will make or break your set so after i finish buffing the nails you can either have your client go wash their hands or you can wipe them or dust them off and wipe them off with an alcohol wipe and that's pretty much it so for this set you know she is a nurse so she really can't do too much so i'm just gonna go in with a top coat and that's gonna be pretty much it So lastly, I just went in with some cuticle oil and here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really, really pretty. I absolutely love that color and they just look so nice and clean. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at GetNail32 and I'll see you guys next time.